How's it going, everybody? I am back in Fallout 4, and this time I'm at Croup Manor. So I'm going to be building up Croup Manor a little bit. Uh, as of now, I really am not sure what I'm going to do. I'm thinking like a Minuteman HQ type of place, like farther into the uh, Commonwealth rather than just the castle. I've, I haven't unlocked the castle yet on this save, so uh, I haven't quite... Um, got there but this is gonna be like a Miniman HQ type of place I feel like people do this a lot but I wanna make mine a little bit different I'm gonna have like an armory slash gun shop uh, inside the house and then also like a HQ area where they will like record stuff with the general Preston everybody like that and they'll broadcast it to the wasteland instead of just like um the radio freedom or whatever so this is where the the general re will record his like speeches and stuff like that to the minutemen and to the commonwealth uh letting them know that the minutemen are back and stuff like that and so uh it's kind of like a got gonna have like a um conference room and uh some other stuff that would be important for the Minutemen, but we're also gonna make this place a little nicer. It's gonna have some scrappier elements about it, you know, uh, but I'm trying to fix it up. So like right here, I'm just using these planks. These are from Custom Vanilla Assets. You can find them in like 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 40 degrees, and I think 90 degrees or something like that, different angles. Uh, it looks like 60 as well, but you can get them at different angles, and if you kind of just mix and match the 10 and 20 degree angle beams, they kind of look like they would fit across the top of this. There's only four variants, I think, for planks, so I do have to like try to mix it up a little bit as much as I can, and make it not just look repeating the whole time. Uh, on this side, there is a little bit of a gap still between the planks, and there's kind of a little bit of a hole, but I just leave it anyway. Um, it's okay with me. It's boarded up for the most part. And if you have Swapa downloaded, there is a tool that you can use to kind of rotate objects and tilt them in certain directions but it's kind of difficult to use uh that's something that people have been like questioning they're like oh i've heard this a lot on like other videos when people comment about place anywhere and then uh, mainly no response he'll say like that he doesn't use place anywhere or someone will tell him and then so someone else has to tell that person like oh he doesn't use it and then someone's like i don't know why it works perfectly fine it crashes all the time, uh, especially when you get into like a settlement that you've really put a lot of stuff in, and you start to like get up towards that build limit or whatever. It really starts being the worst then, because I feel like um, I don't know. I don't know if it's just uh, too much on the console. Uh, at least on the PlayStation 4, and that's another thing, is a lot of people say that it works perfectly fine, but they're Xbox users, so Xbox has a much better version of the mod, uh, the, the Place Anywhere mod, theirs is a lot better, but PS4's works, it's it's fine, right there, I was just seeing this, uh, looking to see if those actually fit that way, and they do. And then I just go ahead and move on to the windows. So mainly in this video, you guys are going to see me board up windows and fix floors. And so in this settlement, I wanted to make it look really sturdy. And so what I end up doing is uh, besides fixing up uh, the roof right there and boarding up all the lower floors windows, I do leave the third floor windows open, but that's because... Um, that is a really good vantage point, and also you can get a really nice view from up there. So I may turn that top floor into a... I'm not sure what I'm going to turn it into, whether it's going to be like the general's bedroom, or if I'm going to turn it into 
like maybe a sniper's nest or something like that. Of course, there is a whole portion that I'm not going to close off when I repair the walls in the next video because this is this is all windows and floors. The floors take a long time because I try to make the floors really sturdy from the top and the bottom so they look like like they make sense, like they would actually be held up and stuff and I end up placing supports and everything like that on the lower floors and they fit in and it, it looks really good in my opinion uh, from the bottom uh, because you can see it. You can't really hide those in the like in the build you can't hide the beam uh, the the boards and stuff so you do see it from the bottom and I think that it still looks really good from the bottom so what I end up doing is right here you can see I'm just using place anywhere to pick up these uh, window boards from uh, unlock settlement objects in the wood section under pallets, planks, and plywood. If you go all the way to the very end on the right, you will find like six or seven variants of uh, window boards. There's also a door that you can, uh, it's not a door, but it works for windows as well. It's actually a, a door board, so you can board up different doorways and stuff like that which I end up doing a couple times um, there's a couple things that I do in this video though later that you guys will notice uh, that I don't show you in later builds or I don't actually show you in the video but you'll notice it in the tour and I'll point it out uh, I just had done it beforehand and then cut it out of this and then because I realized that just the windows and the floors alone was going to be I mean it was an hour worth of footage for the floors and then these windows I probably had like 20 minutes of footage so this is all of that cut down as much as I possibly can and condensed into 24 minutes with the tour so it was like 21 minutes of footage cut down so um, what I also like to do is use these um, balcony railings so if you go to the railing section under wood you can find in place anywhere they've got all these uh, awesome shack balcony railings with different textures and stuff like that and there's there's all different kinds and I've just placed these kind of next to each other like it was one big corrugated steel piece that they just kind of plastered on the side of the house and I don't think that it looks too bad but um, I also use two regular fences that come with the uh, or come in the base game and then to not have just a bunch of railings on the second floor uh, on the front of the building, I placed a, a window board, which actually it's the door board that I was talking about earlier. And then using Place Anywhere, I just move some window boards onto this side as well. And then I ended up going all the way around, but I kind of cut that out because... Like I said, there was like 20 minutes of footage of just me boarding up windows. And like this, I mean, it takes maybe like 20 to 30 seconds for like one set of windows. So, I mean, I don't want to sit there and just board up windows for an entire video. That's that, I don't feel like I'm doing enough in the video. So, I end up cutting. And then this is kind of choppy here, but... Um, I end up using mixtures of planks and plywood to board up the the floors on this house. So I use planks right here to kind of fill in the smaller gap of this floor. And then just two pieces of plywood. But anywhere that there's not those supports underneath, like where the floor used to be held up by, I build my own sorts of, uh, like, supports. And, uh... It ends up working out really well. So right here I just place some plywood down. And uh, don't worry, it's not like foggy and dark for very long. So that'll be fixed here in a second. Uh, but um, it's actually because it's morning right here that it's, it's still kind of dark. And we're also inside. So uh, like I said, there's still like supports underneath this so I don't really bother 
too much. But what I end up doing is just placing plywood over these um, bigger gaps that have supports. And it's just a matter of trying to fill in as much of it as I can. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with all of this. But, um... I know that I'm going to have, like, multiple, like, decorating videos. So, I'm going to have downstairs uh, some decorations uh, videos. They may be together, maybe separate. Just depends on kind of how long it takes me to decorate an area. Because I do have several ideas for, it, like, multiple rooms or whatever. So, and I do my best to give the house, like the original shape even though it is um like decaying and stuff like that i try to make it look as repaired to like the original version as i can but like still look really scrappy that's my goal is i i want it to look um like nice because it's supposed to be like the place where the general lives and also, it's going to look, I mean, post-war scrappy, you know? So, there's a lot of plywood, a lot of planks, a lot of, uh, like, junk walls and stuff. Well, not really uh, junk walls, but just the wooden walls and stuff whenever I repair the walls. But I do try to give it the same shape that it used to have. Uh, I fill in the doorways where the doorways were... Uh, and I make doorways there is what I mean. And then also I try to, um, because I, I, I've not done, or I've done it already, but I've not recorded the, or I've not done the video yet, but I do plan on, uh, having that out soon. But this one is just me fixing floors and, uh, and windows but right here I'm on the actual roof portion now uh, next to the huge opening in the third floor and I thought about leaving this open in one part and having like part of it closed off and having stairs up but I didn't do that uh, I don't know if I eventually will or not but if I do I'd have to delete a lot of stuff that I've already done and then that would just be a lot more work, so I probably won't do that. But I do have a couple ideas for this spot up here and then also on the other side. The overhang on the second floor, like where the little um, like driveway goes into with the overhang or whatever. Uh the pavilion and I want to make that look kind of nice and I want to do something on that and so another idea that I had for this house and I've had this idea for a long time I just never have actually done it the way that I like imagined it is I want it to be like this is the main building but people have kind of just added on they've they've wanted to live around the house or whatever and so they have just started to kind of build up onto the house and stuff like that i want the house to still be the main structure of it and i don't want to cover up the whole house or anything like that it's not my goal but i want to not just be like a bunch of different buildings i want it to be like one big building where like someone has kind of just added this like house onto this side or whatever where it's kind of just like they've grown off of the original structure i don't know uh but i think that that sounds really cool in my opinion uh the original shell of the house there that they've turned the like original structure into something new and then 
on the inside, it's different stuff like that. But on the outside, you can see that like there's the original house there and that people have just started to kind of build up onto it uh, in a way. And I think that that sounds really cool in my opinion. Uh, I do cut here in a second because it is just a lot of me placing floors and stuff like that, placing plywood down. And so what I end up doing is just skip into the next spot and I delete that door. Um, I do replace a lot of the doors. I haven't replaced all of them yet or placed all of them. Thankfully, I don't know if it... I don't think it was this way in the base game, but I can actually snap doors to the door frames on this house, so that's that's kind of nice. But, like I said, I just go ahead and I fill in a lot of these gaps with plywood, just so that it looks like a sturdy floor. And then... I go to the other side and you can see there's a big hole over there. I do the same thing in a minute. It'll show like the base frame of what I've built. Uh, I don't really show you guys a lot of the frames that I built after the first few because um, it's the same thing where I kind of just put a beam across and then beams going straight across and whatever to kind of make just a cross platform that the plywood is sitting on. And then... I end up putting supports underneath some of the beams later. Um, like you can see from the bottom floors and stuff that are kind of holding up the floors to make it kind of look a little bit more genuine and more realistic rather than just like, oh, yep, we kind of just uh, threw some, some plank across this and it's uh, just holding up on its own now, especially stuff like this. Uh, See, that would be super dangerous if you just were like, yep, yeah, we're just going to hammer these together and we're going to put some cross beams and stuff and hopefully it works. But I think that this looks pretty good right here whenever I get finished with it. You can, you can tell that it kind of looks like supported and stuff from the bottom too, which is really nice, which is what I'm going for. But... I skip ahead a little bit and place down a couple more pieces and then it skips ahead again onto the very top of the roof and so this is because I didn't want the video to be like 35 minutes long so I skipped me placing all those beams down you can see I just did a little cross section and then I liked the way that this looked a lot because it looks really uniform you can see I placed these uh, plywood pieces all the way across like that and then I place one long ways and, and when I get back up there I go ahead and place down some the last few pieces of plywood and then it's just a matter of getting them to not be clipping through the floor so I just use place anywhere to lift this one up a little bit and then lower this one a little but I keep grabbing the planks below and so I got a little texture glitch over here so I move this one and it's nice and flat, nothing too rough, so I can walk straight over it. That one's up a little bit. And, yeah, that ends up looking kind of nice. But the, the last thing that I need to do is add in these support beams that I was saying. So I just kind of try to place them sort of central uh, and, like, on some of the cross beams, you know, so that there's nothing like too crazy and right here uh, it keeps trying to snap to that fence but I can't get this in a really good position so I tried to place it I could have probably pillar glitch or well not pillar glitch but place anywhere uh, picked it up and moved it into a better position but right there it's kind of clipping through the floor so I move it over to where that cross beam is right there so you can see they're crossing into a T right there and uh, I move that rug out from underneath that post. And then same thing down here. Uh, it's just one beam crossing another. And I just place it right there. And I think that it turns out pretty all right. But tour here in a second. To give a less good like run around everything. 
but you can see it's just really scrappy starting to be built up a little bit uh looks like they've kind of closed up all the windows and stuff on the bottom floors so that it's a little bit more defended on the bottom floors because if you have walls and stuff that's the section that um the second floor especially that's the section that would be harder or would be easier to see those huge walls in the wall just ignore those i'll deal with those in another video of course i told you that you would notice that that wall is fixed uh that's just gonna be part of the next video i don't show you guys me actually building it but it is gonna be just part of next video where i fix the rest of the walls for the most part there's still some gaps that i leave because i have plans to do other things with this house like i said i want to kind of make it where the the skeleton of this build is the original house and then there's all these builds kind of just on it and i think that that's a really cool concept and idea so that's kind of my goal with this but if we go inside i go in this little area first and then uh you can see you got the support beams the floors and stuff i think that that looks really good especially with the the planks the planks make it look even better in my opinion uh I wish that I had done that before because underneath, when you have just plywood, it just looks like plywood flat across, and that's fine, but to have planks kind of crossing each other and stuff like that, I think it looks even better, um, but I, I really like the way that the floors turned out and um, the windows are, I mean, it's pretty basic, but I still think that it adds to the look of the house. Um, there's probably more I could have done. Probably could have just done, like, different walls and stuff, like, on the outside. Make it look really scrappy, but I want it to look nice, not just scrappy, you know, so. Right here, I think that this looks really good um, for a bigger area. The, the beams, uh, the wooden planks and beams and stuff look really good, in my opinion. It makes it look like it's actually been rebuilt rather than uh just plywood thrown over a hole uh like there's certain places i did that like the one directly above me right now i did just throw plat uh plywood down and like i said i left these windows open because i mean like look at that view it's super cool uh same with up here i didn't close i'm not going to close this off because i have plans to do something out here on this not sure what exactly i'm going to do yet but I want to do something. Uh, I guess I don't really have plans to do anything. I just want to do something on this side. But uh, you can see I've got that roof all fixed and stuff. I want to do something up there as well, but may or may not do that. Uh, I've never been sure what to do up there. I've seen some people do gardens before. I've done... Uh, whenever I did one of my... Uh, institute, like the teleport things... Uh, I built it on this house before too, but I don't think that I'm going to do that. But you can see I've just got the floors kind of boarded up, stuff like that, and uh, windows boarded up on the first two floors. And I think that it turned out pretty well. I think that it looks really cool from the outside, and especially on the inside, you can see that it's really been being rebuilt and kind of alive again. I could have left these windows open and stuff, I guess, but uh, I wanted it to be kind of closed off because I think that this is going to be where living areas and stuff are going to be I'm not entirely sure yet and then I've got ideas for this area where that little overhang is but yeah let me know what you guys think of this build um, if you're new here make sure you subscribe and if you guys have any ideas let me know for this settlement or any other ones and thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys in the next video have a good one.